So me and my husband was having a discussion about sleep paralysis. And the Lord began to uh, reveal some things about sleep paralysis to my husband. I would like for him to share it. Yes, God says it's fear. It's a spirit of fear. When that spirit of fear comes in you, it speaks to you. And what it tells you is you don't need to sleep. You don't need to go to bed because you will keep on having this nightmare or this uh, attack or this uh, 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 demonic activities going on. So you put that fear that will take over you. And it's like uh, the, the spirit controls your mind. The spirit speaks to you constantly. And when it's getting dark, you know, for you to be able to go to bed, that's when they speak more in your head. Mm -hmm. The conversation will be on. But if you think about it, it's just you having that conversation because they have implanted the fear in you. Okay? But if you will just uh, realize there is nothing God cannot do, you know, he don't give us the spirit of fear. He has given us the power, you know, to come against every activities of the enemy. And remember, when you are binding that spirit, you don't need to be fearful. Or when you bind the spirit, you you still doubt it in your mind. You still believe in, oh, it, it might still happen. Yes, you might bind the spirit now then go to bed and it still happen. Don't take it like, oh, it's not yet, it's not yet over. Remember, everything is process. Fear is, fear can stop only with process. You can't just wake up and be like, okay, I'm ending this fear in my life. It's not gonna stop right away. It takes process. So that's how you can defeat the spirit. When they control your mind, Get it in, get the understanding, okay, they want to play my mind. They want to play my, my, you know, my spiritual understanding. But if you, if you believe that it will be gone, yes, it will. It can only take maybe one day, two days, and it will be all over. Uh, you know, just uh, with God, all things are possible. Amen. And... So if you're going through this sleep paralysis and, um, you know, just give, you know, he gave great advice on that. And uh, you probably wonder why you're going through that. Now you see why. Yeah. And some people are probably wondering what is sleep, sleep paralysis. You know, I, I'll try to put some more information about it in the description box. But as a Christian, it's just a spiritual attack yeah. as a Christian. Yeah. Um, and it's like, a, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's like a little demons mm -hmm. just operating that's a just little it's like incense but they are little demons yeah just trying to you know scare people manipulate people while My, they're asleep it's kind of like a um, mind control in a way yeah. you know trying to manipulate your mind to thinking that things can get worse you can't get out of it because yeah. sleep paralysis is like you you trying to wake up, but you can't get out or, um, a demon is holding you down. Like you can't, you can't move your arms. You can't move your legs. It's just like you at a standstill, yeah. um, in your dream and and you can't even talk. Like people try to talk out of it. People try to call on Jesus, but they close your mouth. Yeah. And the only thing you can see is your eye. You can see, but you, the demon holds you down and holds your whole body down. And when you wake up, don't be in fear. Yeah. Try to laugh, you know, put a smile in your face, you know, be happy for God. Yeah. You know, those things make, uh, like, they, they feel, oh, oh, we, we are not getting, we can't get this person anymore. Yeah. But if you, you, you scared and shock about, you know, then no, we're getting this person. Yeah. So all those things, you know, is tactics. Yes. You know, how to defeat them, you know. Yes. Uh, before, I remember back in the day, it happens to me a lot. It happened until, to me too. Until God began to give me the wisdom, you know, to over, overcome 
all these little demons. Holy yeah. Spirit just taught me is a little demons. It's not even a, a, a bigger demon, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. yeah, it's just a little demons that don't even have no power or strength, right? But they ha- use that little fear to mm-hmm. scare you because fear know? can destroy someone's life. Yeah. I tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all it is. So we believe this will help you out. Uh, a lot of people are going through this. If you will share it, help somebody. You don't know who you're going to help. Yes. Right. And uh, those who are going through the situation, we just pray and declare that everything will be all right with you, that the spirit of fear will be destroyed. You know, the Bible says that what the Bible say about fear God didn't give you the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Mm-hmm. All right? So we, we plead the blood of Jesus over you and your household. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.